Okay, I started one and then I stopped it because I got on a rant about Project 2025 and it's just not worth talking about because I mean, for 21 days, the Republican-led House of Representatives couldn't pick a leader. For January 6 rioters to get into the building, they didn't know what they were going to do after they got into the building. So there's part of me that thinks that when somebody says Google Project 2025, I go like, does Google have a Project 2025? I know, bad joke, but Eminem came out with a album. It's an election year, so that's tracks. Um, watching dogs. I've got something to do today. I guess I'm gonna run out and help somebody run a race. I kind of wish I was in the race. It's more of a trial and you know, you bike, technically run and swim, but can't do the swimming part. Um, oh, um, be careful. You're hearing people about traveling. Um, they're not mentioning, or they're very quietly mentioning that they're actually sponsored there for a hotel or a travel service or a tour group. <clears throat> they're not saying that this is sponsored by um, because sponsorship means there's an exchange of funds I guess I don't know but some people are making um, travel videos but they're actually there for the hotel the hotels invited them and it's like a friends and family kind of event so, or it's a tour group, um, <clears throat> to tour a very particular area, which is really nice. I mean, it, it is nice. Um, I've got to go and get on a bus here in about, oh, 10 minutes, I guess. We have this Uber over there. Um, I'm sure I had other stuff to talk about, like loud budgeting. I'm trying to find a place to live, and <clears throat> I am more and more thinking I want to live by myself, but that's rather expensive, and <clears throat> there's lots of things for me to do instead of that prime day is on monday um oh and if you do the amazon photos thing <clears throat> fair warning you get that 20 dollar credit but when it was 30 dollars in the announcement it's now 40 dollars when you get the email so i did it, but I'm probably deleting that. Um, this computer that I'm on, it's asking for another update, and it's surprising how that update, I think it was done two weeks ago. So, and in about two weeks, you're going to get a taped vlog. I don't know where I'm going to do it or when I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try to get it done and post it up because I have something else planned. I think the biggest thing this week is I'm furious, disappointed, and disgusted. Um, somebody got a job at a workplace in March, and almost immediately, one of the managers started screaming at the individual. Then the owner screamed at the individual for screaming at the individual then the yelling at each other all three of them the manager the worker and the owner of the company were yelling at each other 
and <clears throat> the person's lost their job. Uh, they lost their job this week, and the reason that apparently the person was yelling at the new worker was because it was the new worker's fault. And I just want to say, that is not the case. And that is a reflection of the owner of the company that also was yelling. And it was plain and simple bullying and discrimination and wrong, period. I don't even yell at my office. I mean, I very rarely yell, and it's usually just to, like, get a point across or to, like, hey, maybe we shouldn't be talking about this kind of thing. But it's, you know, even raised, I think the most we do is raised voices. Maybe they consider it yelling because of the volume that I'm at. But... This individual, who is not me, by the way, I'm still fine. I'm working. I'm not. Maybe I'll lose my job. I don't know. But the fact that the owner of the company didn't apologize for the hostile workplace. And this is the other thing. I have a copy of the employee manual. And on the first page, on the first page, it states that there's supposed to be a safe workplace. That no intimidation or bullying or uncomfortable should happen. But it's a reflection of who is the owner. It is a reflection of that individual's way of governing their workplace. And the lack of capacity, the lack of training, the lack of management taking the responsibility that it should have taken. They were hired in March. They were let go on July 2nd. And they were yelling, not for a day, not for two days, but for months. They were making an uncomfortable workplace for not only the person that they hired, they hired the person. They sought this person out and hired them. And what really, I mean, really annoys me is that now to mitigate any kind of a lawsuit or anything like that, <clears throat> they said that the new hire was the cause of the person yelling. Yeah. So, of course, I've tried everything I can, but I... I am so disappointed and so <clears throat> sickened by how this individual who wants to work, who was working, who was doing a job, was treated not for anything more or anything less because they were They were an individual, and they actually worked on other projects, on projects that were used higher caliber of software, higher, uh, newer caliber of work process, but instead, they were yelled at. And that is disturbing and disappointing and disgusting because... It's, it's wrong. So, anyway. Um, I've got to go. Um, look at the community tab.
in about two weeks, you're going to see a recorded video. I'm going to just do it somewhere else. And then I'll um, upload it. I've got stuff to do. Yeah, trip, chase, chase, chase. And uh, just remember, when the rioters took over the Capitol, they didn't know what to do once they got there. And that the Republican majority for 21 days couldn't come to an agreement about a leader. And they picked the person that Harlan Crow chose. I gotta go be somebody's timekeeper.